Hi Taurus, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm gonna be taking a look at the person on your mind and why they're being distant with you. For those of you new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Those of you that are returning, welcome back. This is a reading series that I do for um, my viewers and subscribers once a month. And it is to give you insight to the person on your mind and why they're being distant with you. So it is general and it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel as it does help me pick up on your energy for all future reads as I feel that we are more connected the closer that we are to each other in that way. So um, with that being said, I'm going to pull three cards to start, clarify each card to give us some more insight. And at the end of your reading, I'm going to pull three messages plus one bonus message from the messages of love. It says message of love Oracle deck, but I always say messages of love Oracle deck to give us some more, um, insight, clarification, and, um, understanding of your situation with this person on your mind and also look at what they're holding back from telling you. Now let's go ahead and jump right in. The person on Taurus's mind, show me why they're being distant with Taurus. Oh yeah, if you hear like background noise, I have my fan on high. It's been really hot today and I've been working really hard today and outside doing yard work. So now that I'm trying to cool down, I just turn the fan on high. So you might hear a little bit of background noise, but I have to be able to function and think clearly instead of having a heat stroke. So, <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and jump right in. The person on Taurus's mind, show me why they're being distant with Taurus. We have the King of Wands, the Sun, the Ten of Wands, and then the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck right here. I'm going to clarify to get a little bit more insight because this King of Wands, it could be somebody new, but it comes off that it's more so that they're about themselves. Like they are in heavy pursuit of their own happiness. They've been carrying around a lot of baggage. They've had a lot of responsibility lately. Whoever you're dealing with is somebody who has a high reputation, um, a public speaker, you know, or maybe they are a boss, their own boss, a public figure, or somebody that has kind of celebrity vibes here. This person just gets a lot of attention and it's, I'm not seeing it like they have this flirtatious attention with other people. It's more so that what they're doing is attracting um, a lot of really good growth in their life. And yes, they've taken on a lot of responsibility. Um, the sun is really powerful energy as well. It's also a yes card to your question here um, that they have been carrying a heavy load lately, workload, started a new job or started something new that they've committed themselves to and they're trying to see where that takes them. And I do have Aries and Sagittarius Leo energy that comes out a little bit of Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. There's a lot of fire energy here. And this person is ready for, you know, what's next. They're clearing past baggage and making way for the new. So they've been distant because they've been really focused on themselves. They've been focused even on their health, um, things of that nature. I do get that this person also travels. Or they're traveling somewhere new but a new job with that ace of pentacles you know they they got some kind of new job going on or something that they feel inspired by that they're in heavy pursuit of so they're chasing after their own happiness here let's clarify that king of wands yeah see they're getting rid of this past they're doing um some healing here so with this four of swords that comes out they're getting rid of some lingering pain some you know things that were tied to their heart that felt very much like 
they couldn't get past it and so they are doing more rest and relaxation so you know some r and r um some self-love and care here the empress is at the bottom of the deck i know it can mean that they're taking a break from you with somebody else i just don't see cheating or anything like that here um, but we won't dismiss that if that's your situation and that's what you're going through however this person is definitely taking the time to heal now they could be healing from a, a past relationship towards another towards but this is your energy here um but i do see that this person is just trying to better themselves take care of themselves and really i even see a little bit of laziness with getting back to you on certain things and feeling like everything's okay but they are trying to create a better life for themselves there's a bit of of sadness though that still is lingering that they're trying to it's like they're cleaning house uh, emotionally so let's go ahead and clarify the sun and i do have uh libra as well as taurus energy that came out we have the devil that comes out as well as the five of wands here at the bottom of the deck so capricorn and leo energy now focusing on happiness when they do that's whenever the devil pulls at their heartstrings and tries to make them feel fearful and it becomes challenging and they're having to prove to themselves that they can get out of situations also things that are not good for them so very unhealthy um, and habits that they have or you know that they're trying to move away from that's where they're not allowing the devil to win they are fighting this battle here to stay ahead to keep getting to that flame right here they're trying to rise above all the fear and you know everything that's keeping them down and it can be hard at times but this seems like more self-love and self-care that they're trying to focus on within themselves um if they've been feeling off, they just don't want to bring that in your direction, Taurus. They don't want to have their bad energy rub off on you or you see them in that way. So let's go ahead and clarify that 10 of wands. There's also this commitment that they have to happiness and proving that they can be happy and proving that, you know, they have to compete to, to stay ahead here from falling backwards into a rut we have the world card coming out as well as the judgment card at the bottom of the deck so you know this battle that they're going through to stay happy and see growth and and working hard here and taking on a lot of responsibility you know as they're carrying this heavy weight and this heavy baggage they're not dropping it they're learning from it and they are finishing out some chapters here of things that are not good for them it's like they're trying to make way for healthy um decisions and health healthy life starts here the judgment card is also about rebirth so they don't feel like the same person that they once were they're trying to clear out their past and and be able to look at the present and moving into a new transition here they feel like a renewed person with that judgment card you know letting go of any past energy letting go of what they once were and embracing this new rebirth of who they are here um so i do have more capricorn and scorpio energy that comes out we're going to go ahead and look at what this person is holding back from telling you and get a little bit more insight into your reading here this person i'm going to let you know this person does not know how to tell you about their their bad habits that they have the things that feel like possibly addictions of some kind that really weigh heavy on them and they feel like it's their battle to go through Taurus on their own and they're closing out the chapter on that they're fighting it staying ahead and they're pushing forward they're not going backwards and they're closing the chapter on anything that is toxic and not good for them and it feels like they're trying to make room for you and not only you but a new beginning in their life something that feels really different really good the next chapter so was this person holding back from telling Taurus
Okay. So the first thing that comes out is sabotage. I mess up the good things in my life sometimes. That's what they're working on and that's what they're trying to clear. And then it happens from fear. It happens from the fact that they had that lingering pain, um, you know, things that weren't healed. And that's where they're trying to give themselves more self-love and care and appreciate who they are. So that way they can give love to others in the world. They have to love themselves first and that's where it starts. So that healing is what they're doing. And it's hard for them to just express that. They don't want it to sound like they're weak. They don't want you to think they're too needy or like, oh my God, this person's so much drama. Um, this is their own battle that they have here. So unsatisfied. I wasn't happy. Uh, I wasn't happy the way things were going. And, you know, there was something that was happening. I don't know that it's necessarily between the two of you and it could be, but they weren't happy with the, with the way that things were going in their life period. And it was weighing really heavy on them that they needed to clean up. You know, they needed to clean up that emotional baggage there and lighten their load and start closing chapters on old things so they can embrace the new reunion. We will always come back to each other. You know, so this person feels that, you know, we're not lost, you know, we're, we will come back to each other. They just need to take care of some things on their own here. Commitment. I want you to be a part of my future. So they're making way for you. Okay. And the reason they've been distant is because they've allowed a third party. No, it does not always mean that it is somebody else, but third party is at the bottom of the deck right here. This is just about their emotional ties to things that just were holding them back. Um, there were other things that got in the way of us being together and that's exactly what they are clearing up here. This person is going to have an explanation for you. Um, they just need the time to get through this mess of their own stuff. They're like, I can't start a relationship or be in a long-term relationship with Taurus if I'm going to bring past baggage and it bring them down. They don't want to bring you down, which I think is wonderful, you know, because they want that commitment with you. They want you to be a part of their future, but they want it to be a healthy future. They don't want it to be anything that's toxic or, you know, has toxic ties or any kind of trauma um, in it or anything that starts from them feeling you're going to do something like whatever has happened in their past, or if they feel they're going to mess things up. So they're working hard to fix those things so that way they can make room for you in their present and in their future. Um, but it has to start with them fixing those emotional, um, I'm going to say that emotional luggage because it feels like it's heavy. <laughs> so uh, this is what I have for you, Taurus. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.